Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today I'm going to check out the Laboga, the Beast. The Beast is a 30 watt all tube guitar amplifier. It has two channels. It has a clean channel and a distortion channel. And as you can see at the front here, we don't have very many controls, but don't let that fool you. It sounds like a beast. It's really, really quite good. Um, this is this month's giveaway on Riffhard. If you are not a member of Riffhard, then please sign up, check out the lessons, see what you think. And for this month's King of the Riff, this is the main prize and the second prize comes from Audion in the form of an interface. So check the details of that on King of the Riff and you'll only be able to see what the prizes are and what the brief is, is if you're a member. So the Laboga is a 30 watt all tube amplifier. It has two channels, a clean and a distortion channel has a bunch of controls on the back, and you even have the ability to turn the speaker off so you can do silent recording, which is an absolutely fantastic feature. Um, it has a quad of EL84s and a couple of 12 AX7s in the preamp stage. And as I said, there's not much controls on the front. So for the clean channel, we have gain control, a character control, and a crunch switch. Over here is the distortion channel, and we have a gain, a bass, a treble, and a mid switch. So guitar players, if you like your mids on zero, no one will ever be able to see that your mids are on zero. It's pretty amazing. And then lastly, we have a master volume. You can run the amp in 30 watt mode or 15 watt mode. And I've got it on 30 watt mode and it's loud as fuck. Um, I've got the what? The master volume on probably about one and a bit. And it's really loud in this room, but Anyway, enough of me talking. So I'm plugged directly in minus the fact that I have my Reaper pedal signature pandemonium pedal, um, which I really, really like still. I still play with it a lot. Um, I tried it with the grind pedal by Fortin, but it cut the bass a little bit too much on this particular example of an amp. So I've got it going through this VHT 1x12 that has an upgraded speaker. I've got a Celestian G12 Lead 80 in there and it's being mic'd up by an SE Electronics V7 dynamic microphone, which is similar in vein to the SM57, but I think my SM57 is broke at the moment. And that's going through um, the Audion ASP A80 preamps and into an Antelope Orion Studio 32 plus generation three. And that's just going directly into Cubase. I'll show you the channels with and without my pedal on. <laughs>
some of the controls with the pedal turned off. So let's just return everything back to noon and then I'll play around with the mid switch as well so you can hear what that sounds like. <laughs> so noisy is because my pickups are facing the transformer. I do apologize, should have used a noise gate, but it gives you an idea just to how tight it can actually be and how much the noise gate is affecting it. All right, so let's try it with my pedal. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
inspiring sound it just sounds great it sounds big especially considering such the small size that it is um i guess we should check out the clean channel
Right, the crunch is significantly quieter, which is very similar to what happens on a 5150 by PV, a 6505 now. Um, when you press the crunch channel for the clean channel, it does get significantly quieter. But because that option isn't foot switchable anyway, it's never going to be really a problem live. Um, so let's try that channel, excuse me, with my pedal and see what happens. <laughs> open and awesome it's like that low gain kind of doom where you hear the roundness and bottom end of the note and it's just really full it's so loud in this room considering that the volume is on one it's kind of crazy so yeah you have the opportunity to win this via riff hard it is the first prize for this month's king of the riff and that will be out by the time that this video is out so go over to riff hard check out king of the riff section and all you got to do is write a couple of riffs to a brief and you have the opportunity to win this amazing amp. I'm gonna do the exact same breakdown with the Laboga Mr. Hector, which is just in the back of my rack here. It sounds awesome as well. Um, it's a little bit different to this beast, <laughs> um, but it still sounds absolutely fantastic. So one last thing to check, and that is to see the difference between 30 watt mode and 15 watt mode. And it's pretty much just gonna be a volume dip and maybe the dynamics in the bottom end are just going to be a little bit more compressed. Um, but yeah, sounds fucking awesome. So let me bring out a chord on 30 and then I'll change it to 15. <laughs> Oh, did I just break it?
So the character actually changes between the 30 watt mold, the 30 watt mode, and the 15 watt mode. So you get quite a lot of different options considering there's only seven knobs on the front. One, two, three, four, five, six, six knobs on the front. I can't count. Anyway, the Bogue of the Beast, it sounds sick. Check it out. Thank you very much for watching. I've been John Brown and I'll see you next time.